Hello folks, welcome back. Brian, as you can tell, today's another red wine and pizza Friday. I finish off the red wine, finish off the pizza. Got some stuff done around the house. Always good. Um, even though it looks like plain lemon lime soda. God, there's a little bit of that apple cider vinegar in it. I put some more concentrated lemon stuff in it. Jeez, I'm going to be pissing all night long. That's okay. It's healthy for you, and for the most part, I can eat it. Well, maybe not in this one. It's slightly less healthy, but. Oh. After delicious pizza, it's a little bit more palpable. But not enough about that. Let's talk about some SmackDown, because that's what I'm here to do. Uh, yesterday, we saw El Vagabundo. That, that, that. Iho del Hobo, the son of the hobo, El Vagabundo showed up. He left me this list, this wrestling list of stuff. That goes there, and we'll see how good of a predictor he is. Behind me, right there. Wow, I got the side right. That's the door of wrestling. That might get added to. We shall see. Um, I'll give a little news news thing about that at the end of the show. I'll go beep 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 beep. beep. Let's talk about some SmackDown. Let's get the show done because I need sleep. Because, oh, great, googly moogly. I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. So it starts off a New Day promo. Then Sami Zayn and Bar Baron Corbin show up. And then, of course, you have Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, the glorious Robert Roode. He doesn't come out to glorious anymore. Or does he? He doesn't do the whole glorious thing. He just comes out with Dolph Ziggler. It's pretty cool. They show up. Uh, they talk. Um, New Day says, you know what? We'll figure out who has a match. You two and you two go fight. Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode looked like they were going to get ready to beat up Sami Zayn and Baron Corbin. But no, they turn. And they turn on the New Day. And once the three prophets show up to make the save, holler, 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 folks. I apologize for that. That was kind of good timing. <laughs> That's like the devil's, the, the devil Teddy, the devil Teddy Long. Devil Teddy Long. Um, we had a impromptu eight-man tag match. It was a new day. The three prophets taking on Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode, Sami Zayn, and Barry Corbin. Very classic. Heels versus faces. Uh, starts off the new day. They did the unicorn stomp until Corbin got until Corbin came in. Uh, Woods. <laughs> he learned how to deliver some of those chops. That's good. However, that's not enough for Baron Corbin as he delivers the MMA illegal 12 6 elbow right in front of the faces, too. It's always good in the heels to them. Whenever the heels can taunt someone, it makes it a little, we'll put a little extra stank on it. Then Kingston came in. Next, <laughs> the Hulk. Uh, then we went to break. Oh, yeah. Kingston went face first into the table and then rammed right into the steps. Uh, Dolph Ziggler. We come back. They're back in the ring. Dolph Ziggler has a headlock, which. Classic Dolph Ziggler stuff. Uh, Sami Zayn. He's like, I don't want to get in this match. Are you kidding me? I have to face Bobby Lashley. He's, he's going to freaking wreck me tomorrow. Or in, in a few days. I don't want to deal with any of this stuff. You have fun. However, Rude. Again, they do some good tag team. He does some good tag team work. With Ashley Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler. That's always good to see the heels work together. Uh, both, so Dolph Ziggler gets in. They both do the jumping tag. <sighs> I don't know where I sit on this. When Dolph does it, it just looks utterly cartoonish. I guess when Ford does it, it's okay. But still, I don't know. That, like, super jump. I don't know. Maybe I've seen it too often. Maybe I'm old. Who knows? Get off my yard, you young whippersnapper. 
to always show the door of wrestling. That's okay. Um, Kofi King's in. Uh, hits the boom drop on Rude. Rude gets up, tries for a glorious DDT. Not going to happen. Eats a DDT, a tornado DDT from Xavier Woods. Uh, Dawkins is in. Corbin blind tags. Corbin just turns around and tags like Sami Zayn's foot. Sami Zayn has absolutely no clue what's going on. Sami Zayn gets, like, eats a spine buster, then, then Ford hits a big splash. Sami Zayn loses. Doesn't matter. Math doesn't matter. Bobby Lashley's going to win anyway. The New Day and the Street Profits win. And a pretty enjoyable match. It was a solid cheeseburger match. Then we have a Daniel Bryan interview. Uh, he's the only responsible wrestler. He's wearing his mask and he's like, Baron, social distancing. Because that is, that is very slowly making a comeback. Walmart is going back to having a greeter at the door either give you a mask or tell you to get out. Um, some places, not so much. 7 Eleven is always like, meh. Uh, liquor store, classy places you have to. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Again, I'll get into that a little bit later. Then we have Adam Pierce. He just like fly out, chooses Otis to represent SmackDown. Uh, I still think the math is right where the heels from Raw win. I think it's going to be a Raw heavy win Survivor Series. I think. We'll see what goes on. Because Otis balances out everyone. Because if you think about it, they have two monsters in Braun and Keith Lee. AJ Styles is utterly amazing. He can self for anything. Sheamus is kind of that wild card. And then uh, Riddle is just a stone. Just on something. Team SmackDown. Yeah, it's cohesive. They're not... They haven't really meshed, though. You haven't seen them work together as a team. I like the story on Raw better. I'll agree with um, my good buddy Iho Del Hobo somewhere in the streets of Daytona. Somewhere. Who knows? Maybe at some senorita's house. I have no idea. And so, yeah, Adam Pierce just, like, chooses Otis. Team SmackDown and Seth Rollins is back there giving an interview. Natalia gets on the mic. Natalia just sounds like a Kmart mom. I want to talk to you. You're a manager. God, lady. Why me? Go bother Ted down in housewares. No, I have a specific problem in this department. Lady, I work in hunting and sporting goods. I don't care. You were the first employee I saw here in women's clothing. I want to know why you don't have a bra size 34cc. I'm like, L lady, those are letters and numbers. I think you're making it up. You know what? You know, let's just stay here. Uh, can I? Uh, can I have a manager to to women's intimate apparels? Yes, I need a manager to women's intimate apparels. This manager's coming. You heard me call him. I'm going back to deal to look at fishing poles. So yeah, we had Natalia versus Tamina. This was weird because Bailey and Bianca Belair were, or at least Bianca Belair was there. Because um, again, it's Bianca Belair, Bailey, the Riot Squad. So this is for that fifth member. It's that last chance shot. Um, Tamina was was in in control. I blinked. Like three moves after they got back in the ring, Natalia had to meet, had Tamina and the sharpshooter. Natalia's in. Jeez, I'm so glad I'm gonna miss that opening match. That's again somehow Lana's gonna figure promptly in it. Either Lana's the first one out, Lana costs her team, or Lana wins it all. So. Doing the Steiner math, there's a 66 and a third chance percent that Raw wins. However, there's only a 33 and a third percent chance 
but SmackDown wins. You know what? You throw in a you throw in a Walmart mom, not gonna tell you who's gonna be eliminated first. Then all of a sudden, you lose a quarter of thirty three and a third percent. I need a calculator. Wait a second. What is a quarter of a thirty three and a third? Thirty three point three times point two five. So now, oh wow, Team SmackDown only has an 8.325% chance. Well, of course, because Natalia's gone, so there's one more person. So not only, let's see here, 33.3 minus, or t yeah, minus 8.25. So you take that 25.05%, you actually double it. So it's now 50%. We'll round up. Then you add that to Raw's already 66.6% .6 chance of winning. And now Raw has 116.65% chance of winning. So sign at math. Always good to know math. So yeah, I agree with him. Uh, I'll give it this. I'll give it to me this much. At least she looks more like a woman and less like a Klingon. Uh, this uh, this is a ham sandwich. Then they give the next two matches, like for the most part, the next couple segments, the whole thing, and that was really good. Um, Roman Reigns. The next thing was Roman Reigns promo comes out or he cuts a little promo. They're at the table. Um, Drew has a little promo. They go to the traditional signing. Um, Roman sits at the head of the table where kind of Michael Cole supposedly sits as a moderator. Not going to happen. Paul Heyman standing right behind him. Ro uh, Drew signs at first. They talk a little bit. Roman Ryan signs next. It's like, that was cool. You, s you, you actually came up, you came up to the table. I like that. You're still going to lose, but I like that in you. So that's pretty cool. Maybe Drew will be the raw Heyman guy. Interesting. Maybe Sheamus has something to do with it, and Drew's like, screw this. Who knows? Um, again, we had, so with that, no one went through the table, though, which I actually like, because you're always like, oh, there's another contract signing, another table spot. No, not this time. They kind of left very respectfully. That was good. Cheers to both men. Uh, when Seth versus Murphy, this was actually good too. It was really good. Great storytelling this match. Seth goes into the ring first. He goes right after Murphy. Murphy gets tied up. Um, just like he tied up Rey Mysterio. Seth reminds him that, do you remember this position? Do you remember this? Seth goes outside, gets the kendo stick. Don't use that kendo stick. I will disqualify you. I don't care. Uh, so Ray's try Ray's tries to stop him. Seth wrecks him. Dominic tries to stop him. Seth wrecks him too. Uh, Murphy gets free. He wrecks Seth. Um, that was actually really fun. Murphy gets like tossed into a barricade. Though that looked vicious. Poor Elias, like standing over him. She tripped in her heels. She almost showed us. All of the secrets of the Mysterio family. That was kind of funny. She was wearing like a little white dress with like thigh high fuck me boots. Thigh high F me boots. Yeah, that's the better way to say it. Then Murphy, he, no Chichi Nando kick for him. Seth counters out with a big boot. So Seth then hit a superplex with Falcon Air, but no, that was only two. Sweet for Murphy. Then Murphy ate a buckle bomb. Then he went back and forth, no stop for Seth. He ate one of Murphy's big, amazing looking knees without the fly slap. Good stuff, Murphy. Murphy does stuff that looks so smooth and natural, but yet it doesn't look phony though. It, it's hard to explain. Sometimes when wrestlers do the knee, you like, we, like, there you see the hand go from here. And you see it slap on the thigh. It's like, oh, that was a thigh slapping knee. Murphy doesn't do that. He does moves and and he has tactics that 
work in a wrestling ring, but it's not choreographed or rehearsed feeling. That's really good to see. Murphy has um, is an amazing talent. Um, Blake and Murphy, they're so good at NXT as heels with Alexa Bliss. I guess they just had to go their own ways. Blake is forgotten. Yeah, he's just forgotten. I was going to say, he, he was with the Forgotten Sons, but he, he's just forgotten. Uh, Seth tried another stomp. Murphy dodged that, hit a second knee. Then he had a Murphy's Law. Murphy wins! Yes, yes. Bye, Seth. Go go be with Becky. Yes, comfort Becky. Give her foot rubs. And, yeah, stuff like that. Um, so, again, that was a really good match, though. Murphy won. Surf and turf match. Asuka and Sasha were in the ring. I have no clue what Asuka was saying. Sasha looked like a high class stripper. Asuka was speaking in Japanese. It was great. Um, Carmella comes out, beats up Sasha, and Asuka's like, huh? Like, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Um, Asuka won her match. And Sasha got beat up, but not by Asuka. So I'm not too sure how the math works with that match. That should actually be a really good match. Unless Sasha... Oh, God, no, that's right. This is a Sasha Banks match. It's a 50-50 match. But knowing that there's a 10% chance that Sasha will do something bad to her back, that now becomes a 60-40 match, there's another 10% chance that Sasha's going to do something to her head, so now it becomes a 70-30 match. And just because Sasha Banks might screw something up, that already doubles Asuka's chances of winning, so it goes from 70% to 140%, and then just because of that, you take away 20% from Sasha. So Sasha has a 10% chance of winning. Asuka has a 144% chance of winning. Steiner math. And then we have the final match. This is also really good, too. Daniel Bryan versus Jey Uso in kind of a rematch. Starts off, Daniel Bryan goes right for Jey Uso. This is American Dragon Brian Danielson. This was good to see. This is what everyone in the WWE wanted to see since he showed up. Since he showed up, we didn't get him. Now we're getting him, and now we're liking him. Uh, starts off in the kind of classic match. Daniel Bryan gets Jey Uso into the bell lock, and then the cross faces, and vicious, vicious cross faces by Daniel Bryan. Uh, goes to the knees, to the back of the head. Oh, again, so good, American Dragon. Brian Danielson. Uh, Jay then gets his chance to beat up Daniel Bryan. Um, he got Daniel Bryan down. That looked absolutely vicious. And then he starts delivering knees to the kidneys and elbows to the kidneys. This just looked like a fight. 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 This was good. This was an old time fight match. Baby. Then Jay again kicks Dan again a super kicks Daniel Bryan twice. That couldn't have put him down though. Uh, Jay had a great looking backbreaker that looked amazing. Jay had a superplex. He could not hit the big splash because Daniel Bryan got the knees up. And then again, oh yeah, this was when yeah Daniel Bryan got had got the label lock reversed, the knees, and elbows to the kidneys. That was amazing, Daniel Bryan. Again, the the, the knees and the stomp and the stomps. Uh, Jey Uso got up. That was a double super kick. Daniel Bryan then again, Jey Uso thought he had him after the double super kicks. Went up for the big splash. Daniel Bryan got the knees up and the roll up. Daniel Bryan wins. Good match. Doesn't do much, but it was good, fun, cheeseburger match. Wow, and that was 
A lot of wrestling for a Raw. Again, the last three matches, they took at least 20 minutes. Like, they let it breathe. Like, the last match might have been 15 minutes, but still. The Seth Murphy match and all the stuff between. Yeah, if it was like 20, 20, and 20, that, that makes sense. Overall, I'll tell you what, it was a good it was a good go-home show, a good cheeseburger smackdown. And that was it. So we have um Ijo del Hobo El Vagabundo Dos Dosas predictions. Um, a little bit of the news. They're still advertising the NAWA coming here to Daytona Beach. I do plan to go to that. I have to speak to the boss tomorrow about that. See if I can work the, during the day and not close that day. It'd be fun to put some live wrestling content on this video channel for a change. The best stuff ever. Um, with that, Molly, I'm off tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Smack the, um Sunday, I'll be back. I'll be back a little bit late for SummerSlam. Very typical week with the exception of maybe next Friday because of Thursday. 